The crown of thorn starfish is one of the biggest threats to the Great Barrier Reef. But we've developed a robot to help combat these spiky reef destroyers. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt. And I'm Dr. Firaz, and today we will show you the cut spot and how we target crown of thorn starfish. The crown of thorn starfish feed on the coral reef, and often this can be beneficial. They can eat the faster growing coral, allowing the slower species to flourish. But in the case of the Great Barrier Reef, the numbers have exploded. This could be due to an increase in the agricultural runoff into the water, which the starfish spawn feed off. And when the female starfish are laying up to 65 million eggs, this can be a real problem. In fact, it is thought the crown of thorn starfish is responsible for over half the loss of coral on the Great Barrier Reef. And with very few natural predators, a new way of eradicating this starfish has to be developed. And recently, a team from James Cook University created a protein which is deadly to the starfish without hurting anything else in the ecosystem. Until now, this has had to be injected into the starfish manually by divers, which is a long and costly process. But we hope our robot, the Cotspot, will make this job a lot easier. The Cotspot is an underwater robot system that weighs around 30 kilograms. It's propelled by five thrusters and can last in the water for up to eight hours. Using a sonar system, it can also measure how far away it is from the reef floor, keeping a steady one metre above the coral for its monitoring. But the best part of this robot it is, is its ability to visually detect the starfish. Its vision system picks up their unique thorns and combines this with data from the rest of the animal, including its shape and colouring, as well as the surrounding environment so it can be certain it has the right target. It's so accurate it can also work in different conditions, like changing depth, temperature, clarity and light. Making sure we got the vision system right was the biggest part of this project. Without the right algorithms, a human would have to check each time the robot saw a starfish. This means that the robot is completely autonomous. Once it has identified a target, an arm extends and the robot injects the starfish with the protein, ready to move on to its next target. And while the robot is doing this very important job, it's also collecting information about the starfish, which can help scientists to monitor the population and continue to evolve management programs. In the future, we hope to have multiple robots working together using their GPS and communication technology, as well as real-time vision systems to communicate with each other so they know what terrain and which starfish has been already targeted, making it even more efficient. The Cotspot can have lots of different applications in the future, but right now it's just busy saving our reef. Okay, let's go back out there. Let's do it.